And now South Africa secured their spot in the Africa Women's Championship semi-finals after a resounding 5-0 win over Egypt in their final group game in Limbe on Friday. The one-sided encounter saw goals from five different players on the way to a convincing win. The Banyana Banyana have now qualified for the semi-finals in six consecutive editions and they join Cameroon who beat Zimbabwe 2-0 to top their group. CS Duplessis reports from Johannesburg. The tournament as a whole has not seen the coverage that the national women's team received during the Olympic Games and has gone largely unnoticed by most South African football fans, which is a pity, as the new chapter under interim coach Desiree Ellis has been exciting and seen Banyana score goals as well as play an entertaining brand of football. But I think now that Ellis's charges have reached the knockout stages of the competition and are now in a medal contention position after coming close in the past, there could be an increase in interest from local media here who have slapped the comprehensive results against the Egyptians behind the men's local cup competition, the Springboks clash against Wales and the seesaw battle in Adelaide where the Proteas are in action against Australia. All in all though, Banyana have always struggled to attract the majority of football fans as women's football is still growing in stature. But I've no doubt should they come back from Cameroon as champions of Africa, there will be a whole new crop of fans following Banyana Banyana and celebrating their giant strides in the sport. CS Duplessis, CCTV, Johannesburg.